Okay, hello. Uh, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a little while now, but never, never quite found the time, uh, which is a review of the IKEA Central um, saucepans and pots. Okay, so they've got two product lines under this Central name. One is the saucepans and pots, and the other is um, other fry pans. Uh, I don't have a separate review on the fry pans. I've been using them for about two and a half years. Um, if you want to hear more about uh, the fry pans, check out my video on where I compare the Central fry pan to a uh, top of the range Demera Pro Line 7. Okay, so in the first few, few minutes of that video, I do talk a little bit about uh, the Central fry pan and uh, my impression with the fry pans is very, very positive uh, over the last two years. So back to this. And uh, well, this, these, the, these rather, these saucepans and pots uh, from the same, from the central range. And by the way, this is the most expensive uh, cookware line from IKEA. These I have very mixed feelings about. Um, in fact, in fact, I actually bought them, and after a while, I decided to return them, uh, which is uh, which uh, which is an inconvenience because I don't have the this I don't have the bigger versions with me for the review. This is the smallest version. Uh, but having said that, what I don't like about this that these small two point four liter saucepans uh, will also apply to the larger uh, four liter and five point five liter saucepans uh, or pots okay uh, so we're gonna have a look at this physically and we'll jump over the uh, to the computer and have a look at uh, the, the the larger sizes and what I don't like about them but it's common for the whole product series okay so let's let's just quickly do a unboxing or oh, this has been unboxed and reboxed so this is the re-unboxing um, of the small 2.4 2.4 2 liter uh, or 2.5 quart Saucepan. So let's quickly do that. This is that up here. It's pretty simple presentation, um, but it's fine. It's it's um, you know quite nothing special, quite common. Uh, so we'll take that lid out and, um, and we'll get this off. All right. Okay. So we'll put that to one side. And a little menu which nobody reads. Okay, so let's talk about what I do like about these pens first, um, and, and that's really the solid construction. So these are fully clad. Uh, there is no, there is no disc bottom. These are fully clad. The thickness is pretty good. I think um, I, I don't know what it is, but I think it's about two, two point five, or maybe two millimeters. But it, it's it's very solid. Uh, and that's the biggest thing that I like about these pens, and I have no doubt that these will last you for many years. Um, I'm not going to go as far as to say they'll last you a lifetime, because there are things on this pen, on these pens, that I think um, maybe will not last a lifetime, but you know, several years easily. Okay. So what I like about it, yes, very solid construction, um, fairly fairly thick, uh, fairly thick steel. For what it is uh, again as with what i said with a uh, with a central fry pass uh, the price the value you get so sorry the value you get you get is very good for the price that they charge okay so that's that's unfortunately though that's pretty much you know the only thing i like about these pens is 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 just the solid solid steady construction and i return them because they are more things that I don't like about it than I do like about it, which is frustrating. So let's talk about what I don't like about them. Uh, number one is the lid. Uh, the lid itself is fine. You know, this is a pretty solid piece of um, piece of lid. You know, the, the it's I have no complaints about that. But what I do have a complaint about and what I don't like is this is this glass piece. Um, you know, I think with these central source pens and pots, they've just overcomplicated it, and that actually creates more problems than it solves. For me, I would have preferred just a stainless lid, solid stainless lid myself. Okay, so I, I don't see the need to put this piece of glass here. Um, you know, they, they, they put it there because maybe they think it's better if you can see, see what's inside the pot, what's inside the pan, see through the lid. 
um, but you see on the rim of this lid, it's got this rubber um, rubber seal. Uh, so there's this rubber rubber rim, and this I can see as a well. There's there's two point two points of potential problems. One is that over time, I don't know that what effect the heat, you know, the cycles of heating and cooling is gonna have on this rubber rim. You know, is it gonna go all hard? Is it gonna crack? Um, you know, as, as rubber typically does, you know, when it's heated and cooled, heated and cooled. Uh, and the second thing is this glass, um, you're not a fan of it at all. Um, you know, some people like to have glass lids, I personally don't. Uh, and I think this rubber rim makes it worse. Because again, over time, you know, when you clean the glass with any abrasive sponge, sponge or um, again with the cycles of heating and cooling, you get food particles on the glass. And this is this glass is just I don't think it's going to look um, well, look very good as time goes on. Uh, I think it's just gonna get um, I don't know how to describe, it, but you know when glass gets old, it's got this soap scum markings on it. It's no longer clear and transparent. Um, so yeah, so that's point number one, what I don't like about it. The second thing that I don't like about it is this handle. Um, again, it's this is also what Ikea did with the central fry pans. They put this handle on the bottom half of the, of the uh, sorry, they put this rubber, I'm mixing my words today. Um, they put this rubber on the bottom half of this handle. It's, it's obviously meant to give you more grip, um, but I don't think most people need it. I, I certainly don't need it myself. You know, the shape of this handle is, is pretty steady. Um, you know, I, I have no problems if it was just stainless steel. And by putting that piece of rubber there, again, I think they are adding a potential failure point. Um, but having said that, on the fry pans that I have, uh, you know where it also has this piece of piece of rubber it has not come loose after two years of regular use so you know I I, I don't know if it will happen but um, but if anything was to go wrong then it could be this rubber handle uh, I don't exactly know how it's attached I don't think it's glue I think it's inserted or, or whatever and but again I would have preferred that it was not there um, at all and you can see that the machine, the, the, uh, you, you can't really see on the video, on, on video I guess, but I could easily see that the machining here, um, where the metal joins with rubber, it, it's pretty rough. Um, but, you know, I would expect that for a pen at this price point, which is about 35 euros by the way. Um, but again, uh, if this piece of rubber was not there, then you wouldn't have that problem at all. <laughs> so, so yes, and again, well, well, why complicate? You know, just um, I, I, I always think keeping it simple is the right way, is the best way, and uh, so I think that's just a piece of complication that um, that you don't really need. And two more things, um, which really bothers me. So I have to go back to the lid at this point. Sorry, I should have um, kept on talking about the lid. You can see between, uh, again, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but between the handle on the lid and the actual lid, there's a piece of rubber sandwiched between the metal handle and the lid. And obviously also on this side. For me, that is horrendously ugly. Um, you know, for the first few days, I, I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice they were there, but once I did notice it, it's, it's something that once you see, you cannot unsee, and it's not a pretty sight. In fact, this rubber actually sticks out um, over the, um, not over, it actually sticks out beyond the handle. So there's a piece of rubber there that you can clearly see. Uh, and I would almost describe that as a bit of an eyesore. I, I don't know why they did that. It could be because they wanted to save cost, um, you know, with the with the riveting here, uh, I I don't know I don't know I don't know the manufacturing process, but there must be a reason for that. Um, you know it could be that yeah, it could be a cost issue. Uh, it may have been they may have needed additional machining or you know a different style if they didn't have this rubber piece. I think that rubber rubber piece was just there as a 
as an intermediate cost saving solution, quick fix if you um, if you can call it that. Um, but it's but it's yeah, it's certainly not pretty. And again, if you uh, if if you put this pan and the lid through many cycles of heating and cooling, I, I suspect that this may go hard, or it could even crack over a long period of time. Okay. And the last thing is, uh, with the riveting here uh, on this uh, on this handle on the main handle on the pan, it's not on this two point four liter version. Okay, but if you buy the four liter version, if you buy the five point five liter version, you also get that annoying rubber piece here. You know, this is very well made. This is very well um, riveted with this smaller model, um, but on the bigger size models, it's it's just like this. So the pan's like this, you know, this is a vertical wall of the pan, of the pot. And you also get this rubber, rubber piece between the handle and the, and the lid. And again, it's not something that I even noticed, you know, in the first few days. Uh, but once I noticed it, I really didn't like it. So, um, let's go over to the computer. Um, I, I don't think there's anything else to say. I think I told you pretty much, you know, my impressions, all my impressions with the with, the, with these central um, uh, saucepans and pots. But let's go over anyway, and let's just, you know, for the sake of uh, being comprehensive, uh, let's have a look at the, um, yeah, the bigger versions. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're back on my laptop. Um, and uh, I'm on the uh, IKEA Netherlands website uh, because that's where I live. Um, but it's gonna be the same uh, across the world. So, like I said, the same the same things that I dislike dislike about the small 2.4 liter saucepan also applies here. Uh, these pots they've got a you know they've got quite an attractive design. Um, you know, it looks they they look very good. They built quite solid. And by that I mean this, the metal itself, triply, not sandwich bottom. The triply metal itself is quite solid. Um, but you know, it's just got those things that I just mentioned. That for me, it just lets it down. Um, you know, on the this is the four liter version. Again, it's got this glass uh, glass portion on the lid with this rubber rim. Uh, you know, here uh, where my mouse is. You know, I'm moving the mouse here. I don't know why it's that shape. It's a little bit annoying. Um, but here, between the handle and the lid, you've got this rubber rubber piece, uh, which for me is incredibly annoying. And here as well, between the handle and the main uh, main body of the pen, you also get that piece of rubber, uh, which uh, once you notice it, it, it really doesn't look very good. And and that's that's but that's just my opinion anyway. You know, you may have a you may have a different opinion. Um, and if we go to the uh, the biggest 5.5 liter version is it's exactly the same. You know the, the glass, the the, rub, the piece of rubber here, the piece of rubber here, the piece of rubber there, and like I said before, the, this rubber is actually bigger than this portion of the handle, so it actually sticks out, um, sticks out more than the handle, uh, which yeah, it 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 really doesn't look good. Um, you know what I actually did was I, <laughs> I actually got a lot got a little knife and I cut the bit that's that stuck out um, which then it becomes a bit more invisible <laughs> and so yeah here this is basically the end of my video um, you know in summary again f I think for the price they charge the the value the value proposition is, is, is pretty good you know it's a pot it's a product that will last you a long time but for me personally um, these yeah, it's there are just too many things that bob that bother me uh, with these with this series of of saucepans and pots and um, and that's why I, I I ended up returning them. Um, but you know they the only reason I had this small two point four liter pot still um, that I was able to do the review with was that um, they actually made a mistake with the return and when I took it back they said well this pot has already been returned and, and I said how is that possible I, <laughs> then, 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 then how would I still have it with me but anyway that's another story uh, so I'll try to find some use for that little uh, little pot maybe just as a small saucepan or something
Um, so yeah, I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next uh, video.